Eight surefire methods to fail. Number one is doubt. How to fail. That you're always doubtful every step of the way. You'll always find reasons why you're going to fail and why your new business plan will not work. You start believing that effort is hopeless. You avoid listening to those positive messages or reading motivational texts. You never let yourself get enthusiastic about a new idea because, hey, it's going to fail anyways. How to succeed. Successful individuals want success so badly that they live and they breathe it. They play their future successes over and over in their minds until it eventually happens for real. What happens when doubt tries to ooze its way into their heart? They snuff it out like a skilled assassin. That's how they achieve so much success. It's not because they're lucky. If you want to fail, then be absolutely sure to fill yourself with the worst enemy of an entrepreneur. Self-doubt. If you want to achieve success, then learn how to snuff out that enemy whenever it rears its ugly head. Number two, planning. How to fail. You never stick with one plan and you don't even try to make an important decision. Instead of moving in one direction, you should try moving in all directions at the same time. You spend hundreds on ebooks, but you never read them. When you do actually read one of these ebooks, you never take action. You change your business plan every week. You then become skilled in this craft and change it daily. Heck, even hourly. But here's how to succeed. Successful individuals set a plan in motion and then stick to that plan. It takes time for any new plan to achieve any form of success or failure. A week is just not enough time to know whether your idea is good or bad, so constantly changing plans from week to week is a bad move. Furthermore, successful entrepreneurs do not second-guess themselves. They put an action into play and they track its progress. If it fails, then that failure is marked as a learning experience and they move on. If it's successful, then they move on to the next action. Number three, obstacles. Here's how you'll fail. Turning obstacles into instant failures. You never try to turn these things into triumphs. When running into one of these obstacles, you dive into it head first. You don't take a step back to determine your best course of action. Once that obstacle knocks you down, you stay on the ground and say that internet marketing is a huge scam that doesn't work. And then you give up. But here's how you can succeed. When a successful business owner comes across adversity, they take a step back to determine their best course of action. Then they take action. For example, if their website just isn't converting enough to meet their goal, then they try to figure out what's wrong with it and fix it. Tackling obstacles is actually fun and exciting. It's one of the most enjoyable aspects of owning a business. Number four, following success. Here's how you'll fail. If you always strive to reinvent the wheel. If there is already a proven method for accomplishing your actionable plan, then you ignore it. You invent a new one. Let's look at an example. There are several methods that have been proven to drive traffic to a website. These are successfully used by internet marketers every single day. So don't even think about using one of those methods. Come up with a method of your own and that's how you're going to fail. But here's how you can succeed. The truth is that the odds of inventing a new method for driving traffic is minuscule. Successful business owners tend to stick to strategies that have already been proven as successful. Sure, it's okay to come up with new tactics, but this should be done as a side project and never be dependent on a method that you're inventing. Number five, daydreaming versus setting goals. Here's how you'll fail. You'll indulge in your own delusions of grandeur. You'll keep telling yourself that your product is the best idea in the world and that anyone who doesn't choose your products are idiots. You tell yourself that it will be the biggest thing since the iPad. Heck, not even Oprah will be as big as you. But here's how to succeed. The problem is that these daydreams tend to be counterproductive. While you're dreaming of these illusions of grandeur, you're not working. Failing to pay attention to real life problems will lead you down the road of failure. Now don't get me wrong, it's okay to dream big, but you should do it in a form of setting goals, and then spend your time working to achieve these goals. You are then transforming a passive approach, in other words you're dreaming, into an active approach which is working. Number six, outsourcing. Being careless about what you're posting. You've outsourced a load of new articles to add to your website, but who needs to check their work? They're professionals after all, so you post content that has huge errors or omits key information. But here's how you can succeed. Those who are successful are diligent in the quality of everything they showcase to the world. Follow their example by double or even triple checking anything that comes across your desk. 
Don't just assume that since they are experts, that everything they will submit is perfect. Providing low quality content will only serve to damage your reputation. Number seven, working towards your goals. Here's how you can fail, being lazy and not working on your business. Instead, you watch television or play video games. All the while, you can feel sorry for those poor helpless souls who put in all that hard work to achieve success. If only they understood how easy it was to fail. Because the most important thing after all is that you complete level 100 and beat the game. But here's how you can succeed. Success doesn't just come to individuals. People are not just lucky. They work for success. They want to succeed. Success is their video game, except level 100 becomes breaking $100,000 a year in profit. Now my point is, if you're looking for a method of making money that doesn't require work, then play the lottery. If you want to start a business, then you're going to have to work. Number eight, health. Here's how you can fail. Don't worry about your health. Keep staying up all night drinking and keep eating those greasy burgers and chugging those sodas. Never exercise since it will, you know, improve your health. Here's how you can succeed. Successful individuals generally make their health a priority. Yes, there are rare cases of unhealthy people achieving success, but the majority of successful business owners are fit and in great shape. They exercise on a daily basis. A healthy body leads to a healthy mind. Success isn't that difficult to achieve. It's not always about getting rich or becoming a celebrity. It's about growing and realizing that if you continue doing the things on this list, you're going to end up on your deathbed wondering why you never achieved anything. Many even go as far as to blame an outside source like the government or an ex-spouse. Ultimately, the decision is yours to make.